Okay, we're uh, back in the shop, Screaming Demons RC. I accidentally hit stop on that last video when I went to hit uh, resume play or resume record. Sorry, you guys. So, uh, this is the second part of that video on the Intigi uh, billet machine motor mount for the Traxxas X Max. Now, uh, when I left off, I was just installing the motor. Uh, I got her all tightened up, and you can see there's the motor mount in there. It's, it's the orange aluminum you can just see in there. And you can just see it from the front there by the pinion. Um, so basically, this video is not going to be very long. I'm kind of bummed at myself that I hit that, uh, hit that pause button, or I mean that stop button. But what can you do, right? Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. I'm going to get this uh, buttoned all back together. A couple small last things and I'll show you what it's like here at the end. Okay, I'm basically done here uh, for the install of that motor mount. I'm just putting a zip tie on the wire for my fans here to hold that in place so it doesn't go anywhere while I'm bashing and smashing around here at the compound. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm kind of bunked on that video, that last one. I mean, it was still good, but I wish I hadn't hit that stop button there because uh, in the in the shop here, I uh, don't do any editing. I just do one one take on these videos. So when I mess up like that, like I said, I can't edit the two videos together. I'll just be putting it out as two parts. So if you uh, are just catching this, this is part two. Uh, go back and watch part one to see the... Uh, the original part of the install and the review on that motor mount by Intigy there. Uh, I'll show you a couple more things because this is a short video. I'll show you a couple more things I'm going to be doing here in the shop before we uh, we let I let you go here. So uh, just one minute, I'll get this X Max off the bench and grab another project. Okay, I told you I'd show you uh, another project I have here in the shop that I've been doing lately. I've uh, had this Revo here. It's a converted from a nitro it used to be an old nitro there you can see nitro chassis revo 3.3 converted to electric got a castle uh, motor and speed control in it a uh, sidewinder 8 8 8 they call them I guess uh, I threw a integer fan and a cooling unit on there I uh, think it's got a homemade motor mount in there I don't know if you guys can see that right in there it's uh, right there Right there, homemade motor mount I got from a buddy of mine, uh, Steve Wakeman. Thanks, Steve, a lot. Uh, I took the tire, I got these tires. Uh, they were from my brand new Creighton, uh, Arma Creighton. I took them off my Creighton and uh, put some backflips on the Creighton. So I figured uh, I tried to sell these, but nobody was uh, wanting them uh, for what I was asking. So I figured, well, forget it, I'm just going to throw it on here, give this truck some new kicks. And they actually work really good on here. I'm actually waiting for some uh, springs from a good buddy of mine there in Texas, uh, Patrick McCarthy. Uh, he said he's gonna send me out some springs because my suspension's pretty soft, as you can see. Uh, just hitting a throttle, it bogs and, and then hits the back end down off of jumps and gives you a big buck and kick, which is no good because we like to go big here at SD. Uh, what else do I got in this? I got a nice... Uh, a Savex servo in there and uh, I can't remember what the numbers are on that but oh also the next thing I'll be doing on this which I'll be doing a review on will be an HR steel um, spur heavy duty spur, spur gear uh, I have a 40 tooth on it right now I had in stock because I burnt out the 38 tooth I had I tightened the slipper clutch a little too tight was pulling wheelies on the grass ended up ripping a tooth off of uh off of the spur gear and she was clanking and making noise after that so i might have had it adjusted a little too loose anyway anyhow i'm gonna get uh that part should be in at my uh, hobby shop my local hobby shop uh nrc hobby shop right there you can see their sticker one of my sponsors uh matt said that my part's in so i just need to go pick that up that hr hot rate hot racing uh gear for this uh, that's a 38 tooth I actually got, uh, just to keep it what it was originally in it. I kind of like that speed. Um, it had a little more top speed than what it has now. So, But a good truck. This is my first Revo. Uh, 
I've had tra a lot of Traxxas vehicles. I've had uh, E Maxes and T Maxes. Uh, this is the first Revo. I really do like the suspension, the nice plush suspension. It uh, handles uh, the bumps at the uh, SDRC compound here really nicely in the jumps. I probably won't be giving this truck a lot of big air because now I have the X Max and I also have the new Creighton and of course my uh, Arma Typhon that I've been doing backflips on and I'm loving that car big time so I probably won't be uh, using this thing for anything extreme just running around the compound having some fun maybe uh, a loaner vehicle for a crewmate that comes out and doesn't have a vehicle for the day as long as they take her easy because I kind of do like this beast she's nice I don't want anybody destroying it so but anyway I'm going to uh, probably let you guys go uh, unless I think of something else I want to show you here you never know we got a shop full of cool stuff so just a sec here okay I did bring one more thing out to show you here I had just uh, installed these tires well not too long ago on the uh, Arma Typhon here kinda dirty I was out bashing it pretty good they're HPI racing dirt bones they're called uh, they got a nice nice little uh, well, it, they basically look like little dog bones or uh, little bones. Uh, they're really nice, uh, soft compound, really wide tire, good uh, foam in them. And I, I put them on here because I basically had them in stock and I, I wanted some big tires to see if I could get this vehicle to whip around backflips. And sure enough, these tires and that new ramp we built, that quarter pipe, I figure I'm chucking about off of the ramp. I'm thinking 20 feet vertical with a backflip into it and I'm pretty sure if I was running on 6S, I'm only running 4S right now, if I was running on 6S, I'm pretty sure I could pull off a double backflip off of that uh, same ramp with probably about 25 foot air, maybe even a little bit more and uh, yeah, it should be great. So there will be lots of good videos this season for you guys to watch from SDRC, Screaming Demons RC. So uh, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell so you get all the videos, you don't miss a thing, a bit of action. Anyway, uh, I've been working on this Creighton, or sorry, this Typhon for a bit now. I've got some custom parts I've made into it. I still want to uh, get a few parts from uh, one of my sponsors, uh, GKA Custom RC Parts. I want to get the uh, brace here and the brace here. Uh, the chassis braces and also the servo mount from uh, GKA Custom RC Parts uh, in Alberta there. Uh, Greg Brandt, he's a great guy and he makes beautiful machine parts. Really high quality, great look, great fit. Can't say enough about those. So uh, yeah, check him out if you got an Arma vehicle. he I'm pretty sure he makes them for most of the Armas. Well, the uh, 6S version Armas anyway. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great one. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, SDRC, Screaming Demons RC, out.